Hello, cult members. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is our week and a half late review of Jumanji. <laughs> it came out on the 22nd. Today's the 3rd. Uh, we tried a couple different times to go see it, and then the theater was full and holidays and everything. But we're finally getting around to see it. We wanted to do a quick review just to get you guys um, at least the thought about you know where we're at and stuff like that. <laughs> right. So overall... What did you think? I, I really liked it. Now we just saw We just it. left it. Yeah, like we just left yeah. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, but I really liked it. It yeah. was it was funny. It was fun. It was um this is a good June May June summer blockbuster popcorn eaten kind of have fun kind of movie. I don't know. I think it did got it would have got squashed you in think, the blockbuster stuff. I yeah. So I yeah. don't know. Maybe I don't know. It's it beats uh, beat Star Wars on on New Year's Day, uh, but Star Wars has also been out for three weeks. So. Yeah, and I mean, I noticed in our theater that there were a lot of not little little kids, but kind of that ten. Yeah. Yeah. 10, yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, makes sense. Um, and, you know, with that school being out, it was kind of a good, you know, there was no cussing and very little guns and yeah. no blood. No blood. Uh, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so what did you like about the movie? Um, <laughs> so there was there was a lot. We talked about it on the <laughs> way home. Um, the big things that I liked was that Bethany, who is played by Jack Black, <laughs> she's the girl that gets turned into the guy um and you know you can kind of tell in the commercials that she's um she's very kind of stuck on herself you know and into her phone she in the beginning she's like oh my god where's my phone self-centered yeah um but she wasn't dumb um they didn't make her the the pretty dumb girl she she was smart and um, you really liked her by the end yeah. of the movie. Yeah, she had a, she had a really cool arc. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. And um, and the fridge who was the the jock that got turned into Kevin um oh, Kevin Hart Kevin Hart um, you know he he wasn't the dumb jock either. I mean he he you know yeah. he was he was smart too. Yeah, he may actually made a, we were talking about this on the drive home that he actually makes a comment of. You know, football is the one thing I'm actually good at, but I'm not. Don't call me a dumb jock. I yeah. actually know stuff. Yeah. Although he would spew out some um, zoological zoological fact. <laughs> zoology bitches. Um, <laughs> uh, he would blurt something out, and he's like, "How do I know that?" It was just, it, it was awesome. Yeah. And then just the um, the video game ness of um, yes of. of the characters they interact with um npcs right non participating characters non player characters i guess npcs yeah, I, I can't remember um that. and that they um they acted like a 90s video game character would they have a scripted uh thing that they can say and that's all they can say right, and, right. and, and uh, if you if you had said something and it didn't really compute or it wasn't the right thing they would start over from the beginning which yeah. is totally a 90s like computer game yeah there's a there's a little boy in the scene um and he comes up and he talks you know hey we need your help to save jumanji and they're like like bethany goes to talk to him and he kind of gives him this blank look and then he turns to <laughs> <laughs> to to Dwayne Johnson's character, yeah, uh, and and so they're like <laughs> starts all over again. He's like, okay, he's like, come on, follow me, and then he walks like this really kind of nineties, yeah. like come on, ro- robotic kind of walk kind of thing, <laughs> and it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this is a video game, yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, I liked how they uh, they kept their awkward teenness as their characters yeah and and the i'm playing with the sonic screwdriver it's uh <laughs> um but each of the main four actors um and actresses um like did a great job of being like the awkward one and the super nerdy one and like you know they kind of yeah. kept that kind of that that 
mental part of it, even though it's Dwayne Johnson and he's big and huge, but he's playing this like super nerdy kid, you yeah. know, and and they kind of deal with that a lot in the game about how him learning what he can do in the game, but also like I'm not brave enough. He says yeah. that multiple times. I'm not yeah. brave enough to do this, yeah. and and because I'm the, the the little nerdy kid, you know, with wild hair. Martha I'm, says. I like nerds. He says, you like nerds? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a, a nerd. nerd. I, there's going to be a gif uh, at some point in time of Dwayne Johnson. I'm a nerd. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, I also, uh, one of the things we talked about in our Stardust uh, thing was uh, Karen Gillan, um, who was just awesome. I mean, come on. Is she, we, yeah, Amelia Pond. Come on. Hello. Yes. Um, uh, I love the fact that they point out like right away. Why am I in a half shirt and sh- booty shorts? Because you're freaking a '90s female character. You yeah, know, that's you're how it was. The Laura Croft character. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. totally what it was. But I loved that, like, uh, her makeup was always perfect, yeah. and her hair was always really good, yep. and she never really like looked like she was sweating. Like yeah. everybody else was, like, they're in a jungle, right? It says Jumanji. Welcome back to Welcome to the Jungle, and like everybody else is sweating or wet or whatever, and hurtless. She's like, her hair is always perfect and yep. her makeup was always perfect and I was just like that's it's it's another another subtle thing that just people probably didn't catch it when they saw it it's just like it was totally a 90s video game thing yeah um, yeah we talked about it too that um neither one of us are huge fans of the of the original one with with Robin Williams it doesn't hold up to today and it's very mm-hmm. 80s kind of you know whatever thing it was what it was when it, it came out yeah big deal then yeah but, but i just I, I i've seen it but i just don't care about it in honest it's not one of those i go back to because it's jumanji yeah um but i liked how they updated everything they updated how the whole how how, how you got sucked into the game and they showed that in, in that way yeah it wasn't dumb yeah or you know they they did that whole progression from it was a board game in the original one yeah and, how it turns into a video game and then and then how they end up in it 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 didn't i mean it was a little it, contrived it was a I little guess, contrived but, but it wasn't not, out of the realm of possibility yeah and that was that was what it was i was cool with um was there anything that you necessarily had problems with with this movie <clears throat> N- no <laughs> I have one tiny thing, and it's only because I watched another review. Uh, Christian Harloff from Schmozno and Clyder talked about the the bad guy. The bad guy could have been a little bit better, and I didn't. I don't care about the bad guy. I guess I should care about the bad guy a little bit more. Yeah. And I like to have cared about the bad guy a little bit more, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not about the bad guy. It's about the heroes. So uh, we it, talked about picking, but you know, whatever we talked about it on the way home that, you know, the bad guy is the boss. Right. And so in those video games, you had each level and you never really dealt with the boss. He would send in his henchmen, which is yep. what happened. Yep. You might see him, but you never engaged in him and you never knew his story. Really. Right. You know, right. it, and, but he was the big bad at the end that you had to beat before you won the game. And I guess they maybe could have made that a little harder. Um, you know, cause I don't want to spoil it, but they have, you know, in the commercials, they talk about that they have three, three lives, three yeah. lives. And there wasn't a whole lot of loss that happened. Um, you know, you think maybe they could have, left a few more lives yeah. to have been spent with yeah. the boss. Yeah. And I get that. I, I, I can get, I can get behind that, but, but I, I, it wasn't enough that I'm like, oh, the movie is ruined. Like, no. like one of the first things we said when we got done was, I think we might be blowing this because <laughs> it, 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 it was fun. It was funny. It was uh cool action scenes, not like just action scenes for action scenes, but like cool, like well done video game, realistic video. Yeah. Like, like, Karen Gillian's character jumping up and doing the like the scissor splits. kick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just uh, there was a scene they showed it in the trailer too, uh, where they're running across this plane and <laughs> everybody like kind of takes off before um Spencer th- th- does with Dwayne Johnson's Dwayne character. Johnson, yeah. And uh and he like starts running and he's like 
oh, and he like takes off and he likes running by and and then Karen Gillian, um, was it Meredith? Martha. Martha. Martha goes running by and uh, and then uh, Fridge and um, Bethany. Bethany are like trugging along and Beth. <laughs> that's just ah oh this is not our character why am i running so slow but just like the them showing how fast they were running yeah. compared to everything else was just like it's a nice little again a, a lot of like subtle little things that makes the whole thing work yeah i think it uh, reminds uh, you that it's a video game yeah so overall score We've decided to change our scoring system from the previous years. We're instead of a one to ten, we're gonna do one to five pops, <laughs> stars, whatever. He's one not to five. sure about this. I don't know. I want one to a hundred, but we'll, we'll... I think it's way too many. Okay. Um, I want to give it a four. I that's it feels high, but yeah, I, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Um, I. Th- just because I think it lived up to what everybody's been talking about, and it's yeah. and it it's it is I la- like like jumping up and laughing kind of in my seats thing. I almost knocked the guy out next to me a couple times because he got these big old long arms. <laughs> nice. And uh, so yeah, I think four. I think four works. All right. So um, definitely see it in the theater while you have a chance. Um, there's some of the shots um, while they're in the game itself um, where they pan out and it's a big huge fast yeah. shot and stuff yeah. um there is i will it's not really spoilers but there is a couple shots where if you're um an educated movie watcher you'll go oh that's jurassic park oh that's lost oh yeah. that's you know it, <laughs> you know so there was a couple times where like stuff happened i'm like oh they've been here before but well, there's only so many pristine jungly right Right. Areas that right. you can it, film in. It anymore. was just there was a one scene I leaned over and I says, "And welcome to Jurassic Park." <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. Um. So, what did you guys think of Jumanji? Did you like it? Have you seen it yet? Are you going? Go, are you going to go see it? Are you going to wait till it comes out on Blu-ray? Uh, let us know. Like this video and leave us a comment about what you thought of Jumanji, or maybe our review was crazy. Tell us that too. <laughs> You can get a hold of us uh, at the Pop Culture Cult. We're Pop Culture Cult One on Instagram. We're at Pop underscore Cult One on Twitter. Please like and subscribe to everything, including this page. Uh, we are looking to expand our brand and everything. Building, we're going to go see Late to the Party this weekend. So, <laughs> and follow us on Stardust app. Download it for free. You can re- react to everything you're watching. And until next time, good night now.